government is, is established and we are literally physically taking over territory, something will happen to our bodies. For those of us that remain, those of us who, are, who will be alive when the Lord Jesus returns, these bodies of ours will be changed in the twinkling of an eye. It will be changed to a glorified body. Now, this body is a body of shame. That's why you have to put on clothes because if you don't put on clothes, you'll be ashamed. That body is a body of glory. So you don't need to put on clothes because um, it's a glorified body. And it's not as if you are going to be going around naked. No, you are going to be going around covered in glory. Now, let me just... The physical meaning of this is that you would, people will see you the way you want them to see you. The glory will reflect. And you know, it's so interesting that there are so many movies that have portrayed this. If you've ever seen the movie Terminator, I watched it when I was quite young. You see that those Terminators, those robots, those super robots that came from the future, they didn't wear put on clothes. They didn't need to put on clothes. They would, their bodies could generate the kind of clothing that they wanted. And you see, you know, some of these things are just uh, foretelling what's really going to happen. It's going to happen to us literally. These bodies will be changed to glorified bodies that cannot fall sick, that wouldn't age one day, super intelligent, and bodies that are covered in the glory of God. Now, Adam and Eve were created with that glory. This body of flesh is not the image of God. That we are like this is a product of the fall. When God made Adam and Eve, he was made with inherent glory. It is sin that took away that glory. So the Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And we all inherited that gloryless nature from Adam. And that's why we're all susceptible to sin and everybody sins. And that's why we need the redemption of Jesus Christ. But when the resurrection of the dead comes, which will be the completion of what Jesus Christ started, you know, where he came and when he died on the cross, the fullness of our salvation will be received when our bodies are saved from corruption. And when our bodies are saved from corruption, the whole of creation too will be saved from corruption. It's going to be a glorious day in the earth when the sons of God are ruling over the earth. The earth has been grown in waiting for this. And believers who are walking in the power. Now, for example, someone is sick, you lay your hands on the sick and they recover. You are walking in the power of the age to come. That is a manifestation, the fourth taste of that power. You know, when you are tasting, you are cooking a soup or you are cooking food and you taste it. You know, it will give you an idea of how the food tastes, but it's not the same as eating the food. So for those of us who have the spirit, the Bible calls the, calls the first fruits of the spirit and Amplify says a foretaste of the things to come. There is a groaning in us, within us, because we know that, oh, this is just a foretaste. No matter how much power you have walked in, it is a foretaste. The glory is coming. And put your heart on that. Let your expectation be on that. That is our glorious expectation. That is our glorious expectation. The appearing of the Lord. And when that is your expectation and my expectation, we will live properly. Listen to me. I said this before. And for those of you who have been following Stream Global Word Encounter Sermons, I think I said it in one of the sermons. What the Lord has promised me and what I expect from the Lord is greater than this whole world. If you gather this world and all the gold and all the diamonds and all the treasures and all the intellectual property and sell it, it cannot afford to buy what I am expecting from the Lord. And that is a statement of fact. Don't trade your glory for mundane things. You know, there's a reason Jesus said, What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? An accurate soul, an accurate soul is precious in the sight of the Lord. And an accurate soul is more valuable than this world. This is just a little time we have. I hope to continue this video next time. But I want to encourage you to kindly share it with your friends and contacts. And as we live in the glorious and blessed hope of the Lord Jesus, our faith will be strong and solid because faith is the substance of things hoped for. God bless you.